Hello, Jimmy. Thank you very much for joining me today. Uh, I'm really, really happy to have you um, because I'm very excited because I know you have a lot of good news to tell us. Uh, so can you please introduce uh, yourself um, to the audience who might not know you and uh, give us a little bit of backstory where you're coming from music wise and uh, maybe also what happened with our China and then we when we just start our conversation. Sounds good. Thanks a lot for having me. This is uh, it feels great. So, so yeah, my name is uh, Jimmy Bowman, uh, and I'm the singer and guitarist in uh, the dark melancholy kind of rock metal band called uh, Outshine. Uh, we're based in the, in Sweden, uh, in, in Gothenburg, uh, and outside. Uh, and uh, we've been around around you know since uh, I don't know. <laughs> I've done you. I've done Alchan for many, many years now, but it's been kind of on and off a little bit. In in the early beginning, I really started the kind of embryo already in the late '90s, to to be honest. So, but it's been more or less kind of a studio project. Then we got going in uh, in been between I would say 2006 and until 2014. We did a lot of US tours. We toured with Paralyzed Lost, and uh, we put out a few albums. But it kind of uh, setup in the band has changed so now nowadays i i, I do the same i do everything more or less so uh, we've changed a few singers and, and stuff like that so and it's been yeah i would say trying to find the right thing what i've always kind of aimed for but now i finally fi feel that now it's finally the the, the, the whole concept is is uh, coming together so that feels really really good and i'm, I'm really proud of now uh, putting together a new album here uh, that's based on uh, a few songs that that was uh, I had some issues uh, uh, with the latest releases and with band members and stuff. So unfortunate things, you know. So, but this is kind of a kind of a restart uh, to get everything going again. So, but it feels really good. Um, and the style, my kind of influences. I'm a big fan of of typo negative. Paradise Lost and mm. the heavy dark stuff, you know, all the jolly stuff. That's my thing. <laughs> also, no, no, I'm it's, also it's, into, it's, uh, like you know, yeah, it's it's so and cool. kind of also, yeah. Other, thanks, man. And uh, now I would say that kind of vibes, but also into uh, you know the pesh mode and stuff like that from that kind of era. All the stuff, really, really excellent stuff, and uh, Sister Mercy stuff like that. So it's kind of a mix, um, mm -hmm. but. Um, now I'm kind of yeah putting everything together again, and we have kind of a, a nice path. So and I sign now with the with a label, and it feels good. Really nice guys. It's yeah, it's gonna be really interesting to see. And um, yeah, things are you know slowly st slowly starting to move in in the right direction for us. And it's tough, you know. Everybody that's been been in in bands or in group setups, you know, it's it's uh, it's tough. To, to get everything going in a good way, have the same kind of ideas and mm. the same kind of commitment. And uh, as I would say, everybody in the in music scene knows how tough it is from a, a economic financial standpoint, but time-wise and, and other stuff, you know, with, with families and jobs and so on. And then of course, this, uh, this horrifying Corona crap has uh, totally <laughs> liberated the, the music scene you know it, it's yeah but to me it's also it, it's kind of that's a lot what the album is about is the kind of the how the society works and how how, how crazy it's gone with all the social media and, and with everything and, and like the whole i feel that we kind of have lost a little bit track of what is what's reality and not you know and everybody is kind of biased pushing their thing and ah, it's i don't i don't like it but in this, I also see some grassroots kind of thing. People are starting to waking up and understand, okay, we need to come together as the common the common man, so to say, a woman needs to join together again, you know. So I hope this will be kind of wake-up wake up call uh, also. And uh, I think uh, a lot of countries, and you see how, how this COVID has hit. And, you know, if, if you follow the, the money, you see that uh, the common guys, we're like me and like, uh, I don't know if you're a billionaire, but uh, not yet. Uh, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm working on it, but um, slightly, yeah, slightly too, below, yeah. slightly below a billion. 
<laughs> yeah. No, but it's 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 tough to see. You know, the the, the, the unfortunate ones that had uh, you know uh, jobs in in the restaurant industry, music, and all this, they are hit really hard. But the, really, the like the top five percent has you know gained. Uh, I read a Forbes article. I think it was seventy percent of their wealth. You know, over the COVID. I, I just you know people need to wake up, understand a little bit that okay, we need to stop fighting about little things and you know see the bigger picture. So, so that's kind of a. It's been a, that in that perspective, it's been a, a good time here to kind of build this kind of structure for our China, do it really properly. Mm-hmm. And how I, you know, my feeling of it, music wise, text wise, and also uh, the whole uh, setup with videos and all stuff. So, and I, I sent you one of the new videos that's kind of a new, <laughs> yeah. new style to it and so on. So, it's, yeah, so that's the, that's where we're at right now. Okay, thank you. Thank you for the introduction. And um, yeah, you know, I mean, I could have uh, chimed in quite, quite right on because I'm, um, there's so much to unpack. <laughs> because you're absolutely right. <laughs> yeah. you, know, um, you see now who's the real essential uh, people and, and who are really n- non-essential, no, you know, disposable or something. I don't want to, I don't want to say somebody is is better than than somebody else but um uh yeah it's kind of um in a way uh, as i can see it for for your band you could use the time to kind of have a re- rebirth you know to kind of uh, get um sure. a new structure behind things and and i have to admit you know i'm 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 a big fan, but you flew under my radar for quite a while, and I'm really kind of I don't get it. How did this happen? You know, and and this leads back to what you just said because today we live in a in a great age where everyone can make music. You know, but the problem is everyone mm-hmm. makes music, and so I'm you know I'm a radio DJ as well, so I I'm in an avalanche of music, and I have to sift through and find the good ones you know in the pile of not so good ones let's keep it nicely you know mm. um yeah. but uh but you can swear on my program if you want to so it's that's fine <laughs> um <laughs> no and um yeah so so where where where, where do i start um Okay, maybe with a, with a things because you you said it in the beginning, you know, Tybo Negative, uh, Sisters of Mercy, Deepish Mode, and and you know you're you're my dream come true, <laughs> so that's why I'm a real fan boy. <laughs> oh, because, because this is exactly my in my heart. This is no, what no, I this is, really you know, love. You know. I, I love it. This is exactly all the all the influences. I, I like to hear all the things uh, and you haven't disappointed, you know, that's that's really I, oh, I heard good. I heard the new song and it was like, wow, you know, I, I've wrote you back to wow, this is just, um, you know, I mean, you will blow people away. And, and the, the cool thing is, you know, oh, thanks when, a lot, man. You're very welcome. And the, and the good thing is, you know, I'm I'm just a uh, a very small guy. I'm not a billionaire yet. <laughs> so uh, I'm just a very small yeah. person, but I can do my part. You know, I have a radio show, I have yeah. a playlist, I have, you know, I have this. And so, um, you know, I I see a little bit, and I think you alluded to this, um, there is a grassroots movement. There is some, some people who yeah. are um, against the big corporations and being fed the lies yes. and and being you know the, the videos who are um, I don't know who are uh, monetized uh, perfectly so they're just 31 seconds long uh, no, I mean three minutes and 30 seconds long or something or you know like a Spotify that there is music who's especially made for Spotify so they're very short so you can mm-hmm. play a lot of them and and uh, you know it's mm-hmm. kind of like they're all missing the point that, you know, this is, yes. this is art totally. and, and you cannot put, yes, you know, like you said, type of negative, they made a song, uh, you know, where they put the three songs in one, you know, it's like 13 minutes or something. Mm. And yeah. this would be yeah. today. People would say, oh, are you crazy? You know, this, uh, cannot <laughs> be, um, only it, it can be only once be heard in every 10 minutes or something you know your, your spotify count will be uh, really bad and but who the fuck cares you know it's 
we're missing the point completely. Yeah, yeah. I think you know you're really talking to somebody yeah. uh, who's who's like you. Um, um, I'm so in a, in a way I have to also you know um, I'm in the game. You know I'm an influencer as well as much as I hate it. But uh, you know <laughs> you hate the game but don't hate the player. You know I'm I'm just playing it. I'm, oh, I'm exactly. playing the cards I get dealt. So. Um, you know, I do I do my best with it, but I try not to look too much at the analytics and see when and you know and then I don't know I have to do more more sh funny videos or whatever and then I get uh, ah, you know slow and steady wins the race and and I think you know we, we are both a little bit older and so you know what let the young guys do their TikToks and 30 seconds of fame and that's absolutely fine and I don't want to bash on them. You know, it's okay. You yeah. know, every generation yeah. has its own disease. <laughs> that's, a, that's a song title. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, and, and so let them have it and, um, you know, who, who are we to tell them what they have to do? You know, just remember when you were younger and, you know, and your parents, oh, mm. this is awful, this is bad music. Da, 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 da. You know, you would say... <laughs> fuck off you know i mean uh, we, we've all been there and done that but um yeah so anyway i'm just happy that i found you and that that you have time for me now and we, we can talk about things if if you want to talk yeah. about it because you, you're very um open about it it's on your website on it's in in uh, your um mm -hmm. spotify biography and stuff um if you want just if you don't want, we don't need to talk about it. What happened no, with, no, with, the, with the band or stuff? Uh, um, so there was some even some legal taxation battles. I mean, you are very open about it. So uh, yeah, yeah, no, no. This is uh, and it is kind of coming down to the point what you what we're discussing here. To me, it is a sickness within you know within the music industry. It's as you point out, it's the soul is lost yep. and it's so biased and it's like uh, pushing narratives that is like but wait a minute please take a step back think a little bit for yourself and also information flow and so on. you need to understand that you need to pick you know, from different places to make up your mind so you see because mm -hmm. the truth will not be far left or far right mm -hmm. you know that's that that's biased like hell so you need but you need to to, to take the information from both sides to understand where actually where are we actually you know so to me, that whole thing is so, so crazy. And, and the thing I, I got, you know, in a huge fight with the Swedish tax authorities. Mm -hmm. And th that kind of also was the starting point for me as a person to a wake up call, more or less, mm -hmm. you know. And that is kind of it's so many years. But for me now, finally, the album is kind of com coming out from that, you know, in the, the most craziest, craziest ways. It's taken so many years, you know, and I read down stuff and had big issues with, but it comes down to that. You need to be true to yourself. You need to be true to what's actually the the, the, the truth here. And the thing is, uh, the fight with the tax authorities, I thought, you know, beginning, I just got some letters and they said, yeah, we would like to have an audit, you know, and so on. I said, yes, okay, of course. I have nothing to hide, you know. Mm -hmm. I'm doing my, um, my own company where we have the music business and we have some design, you know, uh, and, uh, and product management and stuff like that. So, there is everything is legit as it's supposed to be. But the thing is, then, of course, I found out the hard way. And also now afterwards, I understand that there's a lot of people. And it's, I would say 100% small businesses, small persons like you and me, that they hit the target, you know. Mm -hmm. So that's what they did. They, they kind of lured me in to try and find something. Then they put put on like uh, the system here in Sweden is like that uh, when the Swedish tax authorities do this stuff, they can just, they don't need to provide any proof. You need to prove that you haven't done anything wrong. Yeah. But if they say that you have done anything wrong, and you, of course, you know, if there is nothing wrong, you can't prove it. Mm -hmm. You understand my point? Yeah, yeah, exactly. You, you can't you, find. You cannot. You cannot you know, find. Uh, a, a, you cannot prove a negative. Like there is no God. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Well, I mean, no. uh, I, or it's what, what is? Um, yeah. How can you not? Uh, yeah, exactly. I get your point. Yeah. So what they said was less like, okay, yeah, uh, yeah. We see here that um, that uh, we are lacking. Uh, Eighty thousand euros in 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 uh, in tax tax money. Okay. And I said, 
where where do you where did you find it? Can you please show me in our papers? And I I then uh, hired a lawyer as well uh, and so on. Uh, and uh, there were no there were nothing because that has never mm-hmm. there were no you know no issues. But they can do that. They can push that. You need to come up with that funding. That's the Swedish system. Okay. You need to come up with the funding and pay it to the tax authorities. Then you can sue them. Ah, so this so you, is you first have to pay yeah. them, and then you can you yeah. can kind of get it back in a legal battle, or something. Yeah. Yes. Oh man. Yeah. And these are the things that they hide. You know, in, in the, what I found out that that is and that's is that we can have another uh, another uh, interview that can go on for hours. The whole system, you know, the, the it's based in the socialist setup, mm-hmm. uh, and how you know, and, and on the on the surface, it sounds like a, a perfectly good thing, you know. I totally uh, support the way that we should pay taxes and then we should have a common welfare, you know, all this, 100%. But it needs to work also. And, mm-hmm. and the authorities cannot abuse the power. Do you understand mm-hmm. my point? Yep, absolutely. So finding out these kind of rules that is 100% on the authority side, not on me as an individual, that is, that is horrifying. And it's so many cases in Sweden that doesn't come up. A few of them comes up in the news and so on. But there are so many and a lot of small businesses. And I would say also a lot of, uh, you know, in Sweden we have a, a quite uh, quite a high migration. Uh, a lot of people mm-hmm. come to Sweden. And, and it's really hard for them to find jobs. So many of start their own businesses. You know, mm-hmm. it's everything from, you know, yeah, food trucks to, to uh, uh, hair parlors, whatever, you know. Mm. And they're targeting these kind of these kind of small businesses. So they're not only, you know, they're hitting the small ones, but also hitting the ones that really don't have any other ways to, mm. to come into the site. Yeah. So it's 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 horrifying. You and, know? And, so and to you me, know, what, what I, I was really angry. So yeah, no, so, so yeah. I, I was just wanted to interject because what I'm thinking, you know, I just heard um, uh, the Amazon method, and Amazon never pay taxes. And and you know we we make billions and millions I of hate Amazon. Yeah, no, and, and <laughs> this is this is exactly what you you know. And in, in German we say um, the small one we hang and the big one we let run. You know, so and it's exactly yes. What, yes. what you're just describing there. And I'm I'm really sorry to yeah. hear that because you know Sweden is kind of like the the poster child for um, you know a good uh, environment and a good uh, um, government and stuff. So I, I'm I'm. Honestly, not happily surprised uh, what what you tell oh, me. Yeah, 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 I understand. Yeah, and it's it's really sad, but but it's it's uh, just makeup. Unfortunately, mm-hmm. we need to have a big reform in Sweden because it's as I said, the idea is good, but it's essential that you can trust the setup and the authorities cannot abuse the power mm-hmm. where we have this kind of system, because then it gets way way worse. You know. The other system could be, you know, like the U.S. or whatever, that you more or less, you have to, to take care of yourself. But mm-hmm. we don't take that big amount of money from you, but you need to take care of yourself. It's up to you. Mm-hmm. That's one system, good or bad. Swedish one is the other way around. Mm-hmm. But then, of course, then it needs to work. In that per- and, of course, there are a lot of uh, setups in Sweden that is really good, for sure, you know. But th- this is a big, big concern. I've, so I've seen it live, you know. So, so for my case... Uh, we ended up with that. There was a huge f- f- fight with this, but it ended up I had to pay this uh, almost, yeah, almost eighty-five, uh, eighty-five thousand euros. You know, wow. that's a lot of money for yes. one single guy. You mm-hmm. know, so I, I had to, you know, I had to sell my. Ha- I had a small house in the countryside. I had to sell that. I had to sell my car. I had to sell a bunch of uh, music equipment, and I, I, I ended up short roughly fifty thousand euros. So I was totally devastated. Mm-hmm. So what I did is I went to the bank <laughs> in Sweden. Mm-hmm. So I asked my and I have good relationships with that this smaller bank. So, so I said to uh, this um, this guy, uh, met him and said, "Yes, uh, I have a small problem." I go, "Yeah, okay, Jim, how are you doing?" You know, I said, "Yeah, yeah, it's good, but I have a small problem. <laughs> you know, uh, I need to borrow fifty thousand euros to pay a, a, a tax authority debt. You know, to be able to sue them in court." <laughs> <laughs> you you can imagine the bank lady like uh, say what, <laughs> but they came through. They okay. discussed with the top management and they said, "Okay, Jimmy, this is a crazy story." And, and you, you looked into it, you know, and so on. 
and we trust you. You know, you have always been a good guy and so on. So we will lend you the money. Mm-hmm. So the bank helped me to lend the money to pay the tax authorities. And and you so win, the thing and you is, won the battle, right? Yeah. Uh, okay, so, yeah. So I don't want to jump ahead. So the really important uh, thing, hmm. that's the first kind of thing that I'm pushing. And to me, this is such an important message that people need to understand that we need to join together. The common man needs to start looking into things. We cannot just rely on that, you know. So that's it's important to understand that this is actually the case. And that is needs a reform because I'm all for the whole like high taxes kind of set up if it works with the welfare, a hundred percent backing, it. no, but you need to have responsibility from the authorities. Mm-hmm. So the thing is also 1976, Sweden took away the, the, the uh, like, uh, what do you call it? Uh, the people working at the authorities, they don't have any li- liability. If they do something wrong, they cannot be, uh, they cannot be, uh, so to say, put in jail or be responsible. And that's mm-hmm. to me okay. is absolutely crazy. You know, you need to have a if you if you handle you, that you, kind of uh, money, you need, you need to have an oversight. You, know? you need somebody who who checks uh, yeah. the, the guys who check you. You know, because it's always you know I I, I'm, always, you know, I grew up. I just you know for your information, I grew up behind the Iron Curtain, so I grew up in the in the Soviet zone. Uh-huh. And, you know, you know, so I know communism, yeah. and it on paper it works perfectly you know everyone yes. shares the same and every you know it's it's every you know everyone it belongs to everyone and you yes. know i you, you get my irony it doesn't work you know you need people no. who who check it you know i'm also you know i don't know you and you don't know me but i think we are decent people and we don't want to hurt or harm yes. anyone but even we can do no. mistakes so it's okay that somebody checks us but somebody needs to check yes, the yes. police force or the, the government and something you know yes. this is also important because we are just human beings and we have uh, um yeah. problems we 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 fail we we have big aspirations you know we want to be good people and we see ourselves as good but we are not always right and 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 sometimes we don't even do it on purpose you know i'm not saying that you know i'm i'm, I'm no, a robber no. when i rob somebody or steal or hit or whatever no. uh, when i might do it on purpose no. but sometimes accidentally you just do a mistake and then you know people like like you said people need to trust you and and this um As as you said it with with a bank, it was like uh, you know you said Jimmy, we know you, we know you, you know you're a good guy, and this is also um, mm. why we are talking because uh, this for me this is also a global community, you know that um, yes. uh, what you said in the beginning with uh, with people, uh, not everyone is out there for themselves and stuff. We are all in this together, and we all can change this yeah. together. And and you know now yes. people get to know you. That's also one of the reasons why I don't do like a three minute clip or something. You know, I want a whole conversation mm-hmm. that you can explain yourself because what can I learn in three minutes? And oh, Jimmy said this and boo and yeah. no context, no nothing. No, yeah. but I meant, uh, you know, you got me wrong here and, and here, you know, you can explain. And so, um, This is very unpopular, what I'm doing. Uh, lots of my friends told me, ah, you know, you need to keep it short and blah, 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 blah. Nobody's going to listen to that. But who the fuck cares? The people who are interested in you or in, in me or in the music, they will listen to it. And if it's just 10 people, yeah. then it's just 10 people. And that's fine. You know, it's not like, it's not a race. Uh, uh, you know, I don't have to... I didn't promise you that you will get 10,000 followers through this and, you know, blah, blah, blah. Uh, mm. anyway, so, so, so I, I got a little bit off track. <laughs> I'm just wanted to, to kind of show that, you know, the bigger picture is kind of be a nice person and be aware that, that you can fail, you know, and that you always, if you be nice to other people, they will be nice to, to you, you know, like you, you with your bank, this was just what resonated to me, you know, um, mm. if you're, if you're truthful and and not trying to uh, you know you could have you, you know especially in yours you could have you know i'm a rock star and i'm here and i demand you know i give me this and give me that you know you could have done that but uh, you know this is this is not you i mean maybe yeah. maybe on stage you are the, the rock star and and you you can play it out there but Anyway, sorry. Uh, back, back to you. I just wanted to make the the point. No, no, it's, 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 you, you, you get my because that to me 
it comes down to essential of why why have I put so many years and extremely amount of money and hours and everything into this music, the music and so on. To me, it's so important with that. That's what culture and music should be. Mm-hmm. So that people, it, you know, it's it needs to be true. You know, you understand? Like you said, this, no, we don't, don't write three minutes song just because you need to get, you know, you're losing the point. Mm-hmm. To me, that, that's what is so important for society. And what really, you see now the movements and, and the biases and all this craziness and people just running like, well, but wait a minute, you know, things are changing. You know, you need to have an, a foot in the history to understand what is happening and for the future. Things are not as it looks, you know. So it's mm-hmm. so important to be true to this and really to be honest. And and if you're a true believer in, you know, in, in uh, freedom of speech or... or, or uh, Democracy or so on, which is the which is the thing for the, the human race. That's how we evolve. Mm-hmm. There is nothing else. You can try all this uh, socialist, communist stuff. Don't, it sounds don't, don't, perfect. Yeah, don't, don't. It's perfect. Yeah, exactly. I understand the idea. Mm-hmm. I understand people mm-hmm. really like. Yes, this is fantastic. I understand that. Mm-hmm. But you have reality. The reality yes. is that people needs to have the opportunity. For themselves to, to become whatever they like we need to help people give them tools so they can they can do something you know out from their own so to say base then of course there are different bases where you know depending on on you know but that that that, that it's so important that we and that is the to me also the key you know we need to join together not this division that you see around the world you know in politics and in uh, social media and what to think and not to think so it's so much division and to mm-hmm. me this is super clear like no that is the totally wrong way we need to align mm-hmm. even though it's a, like it's a kind of a classic kind of saying that you know uh what do you say i i am i despise you for your thoughts but i will go to death <sighs> Exactly. Yeah, I, I think no, it was uh, a, friend, a French yeah. guy. Yeah, I will. Um, yeah, I, yeah. I hate you for what you're It's, what you're saying, but I will defend it uh, with my life that you can say it. Yeah, um, or something. Exactly. Like, yeah. That is, I mean, is absolutely the truth, mm-hmm. and it hurts like hell. You know, it's it's tough. You know, because there are some really not cases now giving give, getting a lot of attention on really on far sides, mm-hmm. and I understand it's very mm-hmm. hard to to kind of you know, but. We need to come together. That, to me, is 100%. That's what the album is about. The Awakening, uh, the album we call The Awake, Awakening, uh, so that, that we can uh, reveal. And that's kind of a, it's been an ongoing kind of setup uh, for me. So so I think that's super important. What, what, what you know, can I influence five, 10 people, like you said? Then I will be the happiest guy ever. If I can get people to get, starting to, you know, uh, using their mind starting to you know critically start thinking and not just taking the only information from one side or you know i think that's super important super important because mm-hmm. it's it, it's it's yeah you have a, a lot of conflicts around how in the us so if you if you take the stuff now in in the middle east which is which is horrible but it's very clear everybody needs always to, to pick a side you know mm-hmm. huh? even if, if you don't think like me i hate you you need to No, we need to come together. The whole exactly. So it's 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 a bit sad, and I think the music industry it's such so important because throughout history the music has been, you know, the kind of sticky stick it to the man, you know, towards the establishment, and the music needs to come back to that. And I think I, I see, at least mainstream wise, it's kind of lost track. Mm-hmm. From, that's my kind of feeling, and it's sad. You know, we need to have the the punk back, you know, we need to have the, you know, the real like, okay, we don't mm-hmm. buy into this shit, you know, we're, we stand with the small people. You know? So I really hope, but I think, I think this is, I, I, I'm a, I'm positive. I really hope that this will be the case moving forward. So, I think so. but nevertheless, we can take up the, the, the last thing. So, so I, I got the, the money from mm-hmm. the bank. So, We, uh, you know, uh, just the feeling just to, to pay this in because the authorities, they never thought that I would get the money. Mm. There were no way. Assholes. So they were shocked. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, so they were mm-hmm. shocked. And the thing was, then my lawyer that I had, I, I took uh, I get one really good, um, Stefan Sörensson, fantastic. He saved my life, you know, that's the 100%. So, so we filed this complaint, that, okay, this is, you know, you have no proof, no nothing, you know. And it took two weeks. Then a letter come back and they said, yeah, we've got some new information here. So uh, yeah, everything is in order. So before the court, yes, this is how they work. Mm. So before the court, because, you know, if you go to court and they lose, mm-hmm. you have, have to this, pay um, you rep- reparations have to pay, and stuff. Mm. Uh, they, they, I will come to that, that they have mm. fixed that in the laws as well. So that's it's, oh, it's that's absolutely awesome. insane. So, mm. What they did, they turned like like this, because mm-hmm. they don't want to go to court. Because if they lose in court, you have a case that others can use mm-hmm. as a case. I you understand? Yeah, yeah. I, I know. I know. Yeah. This is uh, yeah. uh, how how the you, you know the, the, there is the law, and then there is the um, mm-hmm. the judgment. Oh, I don't know how to say it in English, but I know it's, it's in Germany it's the same. You know, um, you, you give a law, and this is just a guideline, and then the judges say how to use this guideline, and if there is, a, a, yeah, you yeah. know, a, if a you know, I, I know exactly, and this would have happened to you, yeah. and this is what we don't want. Exactly. It. So, so they, they don't want to go to court. So all of a sudden they just paid back all the money. You know, two mm-hmm. two weeks later, I said, no, no, we don't see any problem. New, 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 new information has come in to come to our attention. There were no new, no nothing new, nothing. You know, so absolutely horrible how they handle it. You know, so and the thing is, they have in Swedish law, they are not paying the full. I ca- I cannot get back all the money that I paid my lawyer, for instance. They mm. have a certain amount that you oh, get. Asshole. So I, I ended up losing uh, mm. roughly a hundred uh, fifteen thousand euros with this mm-hmm. for for nothing. You know, so. And then, of course, in this one of the things that's really like is that I, I I'm, I'm a member of the uh, the Swedish Musician uh, Society, mm-hmm. I think it's called roughly. Yeah, been the, that for like 15 years. I asked them for help, but they got scared shitless, so they didn't they didn't want to help me. No, 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 this is not because to me this is super important for the music and for the small mus- musicians that they need to be allowed and, and able to try and make the few bucks they can to put it in and like drive it in a professional mm-hmm. way you know yes so yeah i was crazy so so that's kind of the whole kind of base for the new outside that that those kind of things and, and to me people involved in outside this is what, what the, the problems with band members are they need to understand how important this is not just okay it's my story it's important for me but that is not really the big thing the big thing is that you, you need to understand that that this is the reality mm-hmm. And that's why you need to kind of either you you buy into it or you don't. And it's fine both ways. I don't judge anybody. But the problem with with the, for instance the last uh, the last um, singer and so on is that you say one thing and then you do opposite. You know, so that uh, I, I can't handle that kind of kind of double standard kind of thing. It's it's sad. So, but that's the that's uh, that's you know that's also. Uh, the way things work and it, and it's fine as long you know if you want to do that stuff go ahead super but not not together with in our chain because our chain is uh, this is this is important points you know and then that's kind of the structure of all how chain uh, with the music and everything and so so that's so the best thing is that we ended up like it like it where we're at right now because i needed to do this myself the whole thing so so I've been kind of lazy, I would say, for a few years, not taking. I had, the, you know, that would, yeah. So that's kind of the history of it. So, but moving forward now, it feels feels really, really good. It feels so, uh, yeah. I feel whole with the, everything. I, think, I finally I so kind of, you know, as as you as you said, place. as you said it, uh, uh, you know, with the story, I, I was thinking, you know, um, oh, <laughs> this is a terrible. Uh, uh, um, saying or something but you know this this is how diamonds are made because you know you get, go through some really hardship and you go through you know some really hard times and then um are you still there uh you seem to have been frozen hello are you still here hello 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 jimmy can you hear me hello 
do 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 do. Hello, hello. Hello. Hmm. Da ist noch einer. Hello, Jimmy. Can you hear me? Hello. Hello, Jimmy. You hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Um, I guess you. I'm sorry. Uh, the battery ran out of the computer. Uh, I was. I was okay. I, I was wondering <laughs> what's going on here. Uh, okay. So. so now, now I, now you're on the smartphone, I guess. Yeah, I'll just upload. I have another computer, so. Okay. So. Okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Sorry no, about no, that. no, no problem. I was, I was just saying, you know, sometimes uh, you really have to go through some hardship to, um, you know, to. This is how diamonds are made, and this is the, the silly uh, thing. But, um, you know, you you appreciate it more if you have uh, went if if you went through this um, turmoil and to this all to this shit, and because when you know, you know, and and I was like, as you said it, I was thinking, would I do that? Would I, you know, sell my house? Would I sell everything to get the, you know? And and honestly, I'm not sure if if I would be that that driven and that crazy. I mean, crazy in a good way. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, it, it is. It uh, is crazy. It, it is crazy. It's, so I, I can't even imagine that I actually pull it through. It's uh, yeah. <laughs> so no, I mean, but but, but it was shows kind of... your dedication. You know, I mean, you really you really wanted it to to to, to be. I mean. For once, you wanted to be uh, right, you know, because your tax authority really sucks, and and on the other other side, you also, you know, like you said, you did nothing wrong, so there is nothing they can find, you know, and and uh, mm. but still, you know, I mean, I don't know. Uh, let's get not into this because it's more the private. But I, I think my wife would have said, okay, you know what. <clears throat> shelve it you know please uh, uh mm. something something like that i don't know anyway let's yeah. we, we 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 finished this uh this capital and and now we move on to something cool because the cool stuff is uh mm. you got a cool uh album out of it and i already heard uh yeah. you know one track yeah. and this is very very promising and a really cool video as well ah oh, nice nice <laughs> and no i'm 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 really excited uh to uh, let me just go through my notes because oh yeah, I wanted to say something something very funny. You no, know, let, let's go to the more yeah, fun yeah. fun part. Um, you are actually the fourth band I uh, I talked to from Gothenburg, from from Sweden. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's uh, I I know awesome. uh, the blindfold experience, uh, left hand black with some horror punks uh, and uh, J R Kensington. I don't know if you if you know when. Um, and uh, no. and now you, uh, so and they're all in in Sweden in Gof This is kind of a cluster for me, you know, for for people I talk to. It's it's really funny. Um, so so that's that's so cool. But by the way, um, I I got to know you through this uh, night call, um, you know, the mm, song. Yeah, um, yeah. And I wasn't really aware that it was a cover, but I mean, I mean, you didn't hide it. Uh -huh, okay. but, but I was yeah. like, okay. Um, uh and anyway so for for me I, it got lost that it was a cover song of a of a thing um hmm. but but i also in the new song we 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 are i don't know how much uh, allowed we are talking about it already go ahead it's, it's, uh, uh, it's, no, no, no. Yeah, it's no kind of anyway it's it's similar um you know you you have this this nice piano uh, pieces i really like that uh, that touch of it you know so because mm -hmm. it it is for me knowing not so much of you it's it's your sound kind of if you know like uh, you you said you you played with paradise lost if you hear if you listen to a paradise lost song you know exactly oh it's paradise lost and so it's the same with me yeah, yeah. Um, when i hear a song of you it's like oh this is our chime you know because uh you oh, have some that's, i'm really grateful that's that's really structure. nice because yeah no the, the, that's the kind of a, yeah the signature so to say to me exactly that's, signature. Uh, yeah yeah and i i hope now that because uh, we had i had some really talented singers in the band fantastic you know from that standpoint cannot say a bad word at all mm -hmm. 
uh, but it did work and, and it's kind of the mind on what we're supposed to do with it about what it's supposed to be mm -hmm. and I never found it you know in a good way so when I now uh, for a few years now done it myself and so on I feel that I kind of connect everything in a better way that mm -hmm. the, the vocals is is more in, in place with with everything you know with the piano kind of structure with the guitars with, with the whole set up of the songs and so on so that feels really yeah like like everything has gone like huge circle for many years but finally i've come to like the conclusion this mm -hmm. is how it's and it's such a nice feeling it, it was tough you know when when i got going with this you know like i i just said to myself when the last issues were and so on i said either i just quit everything and start doing you know, chess <laughs> or whatever, <laughs> or I, I just, I just punched through. I have to do it myself. So I, I went to, uh, you know, singing classes and stuff like that, start to, to study it, you know, more to understand. And it's so, so fantastic kind of uh, revealing thing to start understanding the, the instrument vocals, mm -hmm. you know, the, the, I hadn't paid that. I had paid attention, of course, but not in that way. So that's been really, really interesting. And I'm, I'm so, uh, you know, humble for good singers, you know, and especially people that also play an instrument at the same time, you know, it's, mm -hmm. now I understand how complex it is, you know, and how hard it is. So I see it's, it's fantastic journey, I would say. And hopefully now this is kind of ending up with this album and, and, uh, uh, I'm grateful that that you liked the, that song, the, the the first single that will come will, will be the one. That's kind of packing everything down to the essentials, you know. So, so I'm grateful that you that you enjoyed it, and uh, so of course it's mm -hmm. uh, it's it's really a nice feeling, but it's at the same time terrifying to to release this stuff, you know. I, so. I guess <laughs> you know we we can we can talk about this. Also, first of all. Um, what I really like, and, and this might sound like an insult, but it's it's not. Uh, let me explain. <laughs> because uh, I, I know. Yeah, yeah. It's it's nothing. It's nothing new under the sun. What you do there. No. But but no. what you do, you do it very well. And this is sometimes uh, even better when you try, uh, you know, on force to to be something new or something experimental or something, you know. You know exactly what you're doing, and you're doing it very well. And you you put in your your own twist in it, and it, it makes it kind of. Um, I rather have that than some. Uh, I, I told you I'm a radio DJ. Than some kids who are trying to be the, the new freaky shit something and 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 trying to to <laughs> splice everything together. I don't mind, you know, some experimental music sometimes, you know. But it mm. um, first off. Anyway, what what I really like is you're back to the basics. You you know what you can do. You do it very well, and that's all. You know, for me, it's kind of rock and roll. You you kind of rock and roll. You just stand on the on the on the stage and and you rock the riff out. You know, you let the the guitar talk. You let the music talk, and and don't um, want to pretend to be. Mm, uh, you, you just let it. Let it be, you know, and and this is so um, so refreshing because you don't want to to show up. Um, um, I don't know. You want to show off or something. Um, no, no. Here, I also can 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 hear. Or at least I think I can hear the age of a material because it's kind of you know what it is. You know what you want to bring to the table, and you do it very well. You you don't have to. Um, show off your your guitar skills and everything or you know your um composing skills it's sometimes it's too much for the song you know um mm -hmm. if if a song doesn't need an, a solo or a, a something special or it make even break the song because then you know you, you get kind of kicked out of the enjoyment of it because it's you know uh it takes you along it takes you in the music um Anyway, so um, even if it sounds a little bit uh, like I'm, I'm kind of degrading you. I mean it in, no, the, no, 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 in, no. The, in the best this way. This is uh, this is very nice that you. This is exactly my approach. This mm -hmm. is this is very. I mean, I, I'm really happy that you say this because that is my aim: is to to let everything be, you know, like 
less is more kind of thing and and it's kind of let this riff or this kind of bridge or, or this chorus let it come out let it just you know mm-hmm. don't do any funny business mm-hmm. it's just this is how it should be package it put it together but also that you you get the you know to get the feeling of the of the lyrics that mm-hmm. you, you you hear the kind of I mean what I'm singing. I, mm-hmm. I, I honestly, this is from the heart, you know, yep. and that is very important for me. Or that t- that touches me from a from a musical standpoint. And it's been a while since I discovered that kind of music. But the weirdest thing now, I discovered a couple of months ago, a guy in the U.S., a rapper, <laughs> okay. which is um, yes, this I'm I am not listening to this stuff. Mm-hmm. But this guy, he's kind of. Pro- like provocative bit you know he's pushing like the narrative that is kind of the the the, the, the politically correct stuff he's like okay. kind of mm-hmm. pu- pushing it in the when I mean, the way he does the lyrics and the setup that's kind of really touched me on how how you can hear very clearly he means th- this is from the heart you know mm-hmm. uh, his guy his name is uh, tom mcdonald it's it's a canadian rapper and it's kind of, it's not, it's kind of, I don't know, Eminem much, but it's not my kind of music at all. But mm-hmm. a friend tipped me, he's like, Jimmy, this is so interesting. One of them, uh, since I've been touring there a lot, I have a lot of friends and so on, and, and um, back and forth a bit about the album and so on. So I have a few friends that I'm, he said like, dude, this is the weirdest thing. I'm not uh, into it, but listen to this. this. This lyrics, this feeling of it is unbelievable. And that's kind of, it's the same thing. So mm-hmm. I, I want to touch the way I felt or the first time I, I, he- I heard typo negative. It's like, I remember it so well, you know, it's mm-hmm. like, it really touches, you know, in, in a way. So that's kind of my aim, uh, or I really leave everything out there. So to say just everything should be there. No, you know, so, so that's kind of my, my aim for it. So yeah, to get that feeling, and, and I, I'm really happy that you say these things and you uh, about the whole thing because that's that's the idea. And uh, if that touches you, and if I can touch ten people or twenty people or whatever, that is then I'm that's my then I'm you know, it's a mission accomplished, so to say. Yeah, no, I, and I I think I I hope really you you will, um, and um, with your voice, yeah, I I uh, I I hear you, you know, um. Um, I had to admit the, the first time I heard the new song, I was like, "Ah, oh, it could have been a bit, but but, but then you you hear it again, and and this is exactly what you said. Um, you can hear that you mean what you're saying. You know, it's not just like mm-hmm. you're not a mouthpiece or you're not just kind of uh, putting it there, and 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 you get uh, you get drawn into into this. But but then again, if you would have had another singer you know like uh, i don't know like pete peter Steele, you know it would sound much darker but it would be it would also take away from it a little bit because it would kind of um it would be so cookie cutter you know it would be kind of like oh this is what exactly what people would expect and i also like that that you you know uh, that you kind of this is a little bit unexpected and uh and like you said with a rapper it, it's the same with me with a uh, with you know, I'm not seeking out rap or something, but sometimes I can no, hear, okay, no. there's a real talented person there and, and not just, mm. you know, somebody for cash grabbing and, and you know, and no, having no. having lots of bling and, and hoes yeah, in well, the house. No, and, no, uh, well, no. yeah. you know, just is, stupid, stupid lyrics, yeah. Yeah, no. mostly no, it's that, that, Yeah, and I would say that's that's the, the fantastic thing with music and so on, that... that uh, you know, it doesn't really matter the, the, the kind of style. And I remember, the, like, um, I, I re- of course, uh, you know, growing up in, or in Sweden and, and uh, being in Gotham a lot, of course, I've, I've had my huge share of, of Swedish death metal, you know, with uh, with the uh, At The Gates and, and uh, In Flames and all these bands, you know, of course, you mm-hmm. know. And the same thing there, you know, first time I, he- I heard At The Gates, it was also that, like, unbelievable you know and mm-hmm. they have a had an album back in the 90s called slaughter of the soul i don't know if you know that one but no uh, no it's, it's an amazing album I, I remember it came out i think it was 96 or something or 97 that just blew my mind totally and i'm, I'm not really a big death metal fan mm-hmm. that became, but that one was like unbelievable i i couldn't you know listen to anything else you know so that's that's the nicest thing with music i think that is important 
hopefully moving forward that we that the music industry can come back to this in in a better sense not this just produced crap that is just produced to you know mm-hmm. engage spotify itunes and and uh, all this stuff you yeah, know it's just, just heartbreaking algorithm stuff what, what i think yeah. is i think no, i'm not sure if i if i already said it um that you know the pendulum swung in one direction now you know it's now it's completely or oh, just optimized and da, 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 da. and then mm. it will slowly swing back uh, in the middle you know because it was the first it was uh, okay I don't know, you had bands who did uh, concept albums and, and you know, uh, uh, two hours of um, uh, symphony and, and 20 minute songs and stuff. So it was over here and then it swung over to uh, one minute, 30 songs, you know, uh, Spotify optimized and whatever. And I think we, we will get it back to the middle because... Um, mm. It's it's easy to bash on on the TikTok youth and stuff, but I don't think they are stupid, and they will get no. uh, after a while. We will kind of know. Okay, you know what? I'm getting fat, like you, you said in the beginning. So mm. many lies, and and I need to find out if if there's something more than than just mm. you know um, Spotify optimized content or something. And and then we go out and see things, and uh, we will hopefully find you or other you know great bands and and just kind of get an education in in this thing and um so i'm i'm hopeful because <laughs> this is this is the good thing like the bad thing that we can find it you know it's at their fingertips we just have to to find um um people to lead them there you know so this video mm-hmm. will hopefully because i will link to you and and your music and so this can lead them there and uh i i do um my dj show and i do recommendations i i talk about the music i love so you know it's it's a small drop in in a vast ocean you know i'm, I'm not kind of mm-hmm. um self-deluded that i will you know uh sway the masses or something this will not happen but but you know slowly by slowly uh you can you you get you get there and and this kind of goes back to what you said being honest with yourself and being yourself in in the music because nobody Mm. asked me to talk with you i wanted to talk with you because i like your music and um so this is, you know, we are we are authentic both, both in our own way because I only talk mm. with people I'm interested in and I want a long conversation because I know I cannot get to know someone in five minutes, you know, and, and no. I can <laughs> give maybe two two questions and then what the heck, uh, you know, what yeah. do I know about you? Nothing, you know. Mm. Uh, so like you know the typical. Um, Uh, interview question so you made a new album uh, so um uh, yeah. this artwork uh, <laughs> looks what do you mean by that uh, da, 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 da. you know i don't fucking care about that i want to get to know the person behind the music and anyway uh by the way maybe maybe uh, uh this is now the perfect time you said uh, hmm? i forgot his his name wait, wait um it was gustavo <laughs> uh, who made yeah, your gustavo artwork Sassis. Yeah, please, yeah, please yeah. Uh, plug this as well, because uh, I, I'm pretty sure it will look good. I haven't seen it yet, but I'm pretty sure it will look good. Oh, yeah, no, yeah, yeah, he's uh, he's amazing uh, guy. Very nice guy. Uh, so so that feels good. So, But otherwise, you know, I, I'm the same goes with the recordings and all things. I've tried to go back to basic and, and, and kind of join us, kind of, yeah, put my friends and the people I trust and, Not you know going after like uh, yeah, this producer uh, has produced this and this and this studios. We've gone basic. You're going back to you know really finding the kind of the, the essentials. You know, mm-hmm. uh, I'm really happy to hear this. Uh, what you know, when you tell me these things, that's uh, yeah, this is exactly what I'm after. You know, to get mm-hmm. that kind of reaction of feeling like that this is something that really touches or that's that something you know. So. So it feels great, and it's kind of, it's take yeah, it would be great if you had done this 10 years ago. But uh, <laughs> life is, uh, you know, karma, life, all that stuff. I'm a huge believer in that stuff. Everything is connected, you know. Yeah, me, me it's, too. Me it's, too. It's unbelievable, really. I'm, I'm pretty so. sure, you know, 10 years ago, 
you wouldn't have done it the way you do it now because you know no, this no, is this no. is all the the this is also maybe this we can say uh, as older people to the younger sometimes <laughs> it 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 pays to to stick with it with your guns and and to um to do what you really feel like and not being like oh this is in and this is that you know don't don't follow the trends and and don't be like uh you know this is gone like nothing we we are i mean we both are into something that that is more sustainable and and, and long lasting we don't want uh you know this single chart and then be never be heard again and and uh, be be uh, be out of a of a limelight or something this is um you know this is i don't know something with a base with you know with a, with a solid foundation and, and not just uh Uh, I don't know a TikTok video. So yeah, I'm I'm hating on TikTok because you know, there's there's so much crap out there. I don't know. Okay, um, yeah. uh, I don't want to over uh, over stretch my time, but um, no. so I have a few questions, which is more fun, and um, yeah, um, yeah. let's let's maybe get into them uh, be before we stop. So yeah, um, I know you have been on tour a lot, and so. Um, Can you can you can you tell some maybe PG thirteen you know the, let's keep it keep it nicely uh, some nice stories from the road um, going to a show being on the stage being behind the stage or something some funny mishaps or uh, you know it's just some funny stories what happened um, if you if you can share something yeah. like that yeah uh, since yeah we've done uh, is it seven or eight US tours. So, wow. mm -hmm. and it's of course it's it's it, it's a club level club uh, kind of uh, things. You know, we're not we're not in flames. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, not but yet. it's not a lot yet. of fun. Not yet. And, and, not yet. Yeah, we'll see what happens. Yeah. <laughs> no, but I would say it's been fantastic to do this thing to get to know so many people and to see like the, you know, the real kind of you know things. Mm -hmm. The same goes with the tours with Paris Lost and we've been in England and then around with Scandinavia and stuff. But in the US it's been kind of a I really have my I would say my some of my absolutely best friends I've get to know on, on tour mm -hmm. over in the US. And these people are so nice, they're so open, warm hearted and, and so on. And one uh, story was that you know back in the days uh, I think it was second tour or third tour You know, we we didn't have any money. You know, we, we bought a shit, shitty old van. You know that we painted matte black. You know, and, and you know it was like a hazard. You know, going around and and uh, the cops they, they stopped us for a few times and they said like, guys, guys, this this is horrible. And they they, they understood that we were on tour and they said hey, you're poor you're a poor sucker. You know, let's get out of my you know my state. Let's get out of my state, guys. Go on. So that, but one fun, funny story was that uh, we got a flat tire once, and uh, then uh, a cop ca came up, you know, behind, big guy, like huge. I'm, I'm, uh, like uh, six foot, roughly six foot one or something mm -hmm. like that. He was like seven. He was huge guy, and I have photos with him. You know, he was absolute. And he stopped, and he like big guy coming out, like we said, like oh shit, now he's, you know, we, this is this means trouble, you know, so. We, we were on the interstate, so you're not, you know, it's not so good to trying to, you know, change the tires and stuff like that. So, so he came up and he knocked on the screen, like, you know, on the mm -hmm. screen. And I, I like, okay, like mm -hmm. went down this one. He said like, hello, guys. Really the nicest, warmest voice, you know. You mm -hmm. couldn't imagine that from this big guy. Oh, guys, how are you doing? Are you out on tour? Nice. Mm -hmm. What's the band name? Mm -hmm. And we started to discuss music. And he said, yeah, guys, I can, I'll help you out, you know. So he got a CD from us, you know, mm -hmm. one of the, the latest one that we had. And he came out, we started to change the tires, he helped out a bit, then he went back to the police car, put in a CD and cranked it. <laughs> so he went, you know, with his arm out, listening to Outshine and with us go to the next gas station to, to fix the tire. So uh, amazing thing, you know. And mm -hmm. he's the, you know, I still think he follows uh, Outshine on Facebook still. That's like 10 years ago, 12 cool. years ago. So that's kind of a really cool kind of, you know, memory and, mm -hmm. and the way it's kind of, you have your expectation a little bit, you think certain things, but it's totally other way around. So mm -hmm. 
And it was really awesome, really awesome. And he's like, yeah, this is really good. And it has the style with the, the police car sitting, like, listen to our chain, like, yeah. You, you, should, you, should, you should make a video about, about him or with him or something. Yeah, uh, yeah, 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 definitely, yeah. Yeah. So, sorry, I, I have so, some, a visitor here, Saskia. Yeah. <laughs> come, come, come for a short, what, what do you need? I'm, I'm, in, a, I'm in a talk. Hello. Room. Hello. Hello. That's, that's, that's my daughter. Um, ah, you, hello. What do you need? How, how old are you? I have a question. Uh, Fatima, he wants to talk with you just for a moment. How, how old are you? Good. Yeah, are you good? How old are you? I have a daughter myself. Uh, she's Eight. seven years old. Eight. Eight. Okay. My daughter Freya is seven years old. Okay. And that's I have a small boy as well that is two years old. Yeah. So, so sorry, you're eight. I, yeah. She. She's so second. Eight. Second. Second grade. Eight, yeah. 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 Second so, grade. Yeah. Your, I just. Wanna, she's my daughter is in first grade. So. Oh. Okay. Okay. So is she seven or something? Seven. Yeah. Seven. And I have a small boy also. He's uh, two years old. I too, see. So. So, sorry for the interruption. Yeah. I just want to. What, what's your question? No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, was can I speak with the hammer? Yeah, can't stand. Okay, good. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, nice. Sorry, sorry for nice. that. No, uh, no, 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 no. That's great. <laughs> I have some, you know, uh, when I done, um, I did an interview uh, a month ago or so. And my small kid was uh, my boy, my little boy. Mm -hmm. He was coming as well. He was sitting, you know, pointing, and, you know. So, but he's how, not how here old, right now. How so. old is your your boy? He's uh, two years old now, two, oh, almost. Okay. Okay. So, hmm. huge music fan already, you know. <laughs> playing his uh, synthesizer and playing on the guitars. Ah. He always wants me to take down the guitar, you know. So, and he, then he points like, yes, he wants the the, the, the pick, you mm -hmm. know the. Mm -hmm. He wants to pick, so he understands that he needs to use the pick, you know. So perfect. So perfect, it's yeah. Uh, uh, it's let, great. Let's see. My, my daughter is more into dancing. Um, uh, that's that's fine too, you know. So let, let's see what, yeah. what what will happen here. Um, she she's <laughs> more influenced by by her mother, and she likes more pop music. Uh, it's it's fine, you know. I'm I'm also it's like okay. pop music. Okay, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I hope I hope she will grow up and then listen to the right stuff. So let's see. Let's see about that. Um, yes. <laughs> okay, so so thank you. And um, one last question. I mean, you already yeah. uh, um, you said you, you toured with Paradise Lost, and of course, you know Paradise Lost is mm. uh, you know I really like Paradise Lost. But yeah, was, they're great. Yeah. Was there any, uh, or maybe you can anyway? The, the question yeah. would would be: Was there any starstruck mo starstruck moment where you were like um, you shared the stage with somebody where we were like oh, you were like a fanboy and like oh. This is he was coming on stage, and you know, was something like like this happening, or was it even with Paradise Lost? Uh, um, any, any? They're the nicest guy guys ever. You know, they they're super good guys. You know, I can't say uh, good enough about those guys. But of course, the first show we did on the first tour, just realizing when we were done the sound check and so on, and they they did their sound check, and then. We did our show, and then afterwards, I was standing, you know, with the beer on the side of the stage, you know, packed place in Copenhagen, I think it was, yeah. And standing there, and then, you know, Nick and uh, and Gregor, the guitarist, went back and like high fived, you know. Now let's go. Then I realized, like, oh shit, I'm standing here with the cold beer, high fiving the guys. They went Nicole, on stage. Nick Holmes and I, yeah. I, hmm. yeah, yeah, and Gregor McIntosh. So. And I just realized, shit, this is actually happening. This is this is pretty cool. So standing there drinking the cold mm -hmm. beer, ah, mm -hmm. fantastic. Oh, yeah. this so is, this is, this is that, that's uh, yeah, I'm really grateful that those guys uh, brought us on on uh, two tours, because uh, that's uh, of course fan base wise and everything. It's great. Uh, so I hope to do it again. We'll see what happens. Uh, now it's kind of the album. Now it's ready. So we'll actually actually now start to look into. To possibilities for management and stuff to get um, get uh, some things going, but it's yeah, as you know, it's tough, and mm -hmm. of course the COVID crap has been horrible for everybody. So it's uh, but it's now it's starting to pick up. I know my friends in the US that there's uh, really opening up now. So so, but Europe will take a few more. Uh, I don't know. It's it, it, there is a lot of festivals, you know, in mm -hmm. in the in the fall, right? It's it's kind of. Yeah, uh, but but I think you know honestly, I think um, it will be back to normal next year. So m yeah, maybe you will yeah. have some things. I mean, yeah, it it starts up. Uh, that's true, but um, 
yeah, in, in a way, I, I'm kind of, I understand that we're very cautious and, you know, want to be, uh, you know, in a, in a good place to start something like mm. that. Uh, on the other side, of course, I'm also here, you know, uh, um, waiting and, and, you know, want to get out and, and dance again and, and whatever. But <laughs> Ah, so so I'm kind of um, I think next year will be the, the real start again there will be like mm. li little spots um, here and there you know it depends on how um, how much uh, time uh, nah, how, what do you say how much um, vaccination you know the people get vaccinated yeah, and stuff the rates, um, yeah, yeah. Um, so it looks promising but I I I rather be a little bit, um, you know, on on the pessimistic side here because I was I was mm. very hopeful a, a couple of times and I always got like, brum, yeah. Brum, yeah. Brum. and and I don't want you know I want to I rather be pleasantly surprised if you tell me you know oh we on tour and we are in Germany and da, 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 and then I come out and see you but that's uh, you know for now I'm I'm. I wouldn't keep my hopes so high, you know, uh, just no, to be no. more level-headed. Okay, Jimmy, yeah. thank you very much yeah. for your time. Um, I think it was uh, it was really nice to get to know you, and and very very thank uh, thank you very much for your for your openness. Um, you know, so uh, this is this is really cool, and um, yeah, I wish you all the best, and I'm I'm pretty sure you will. You will kill it out there because yeah this is this is some really cool stuff and uh, uh yeah. thanks a lot man that, I, I love that it. warms my heart yeah uh, uh thanks a lot yeah, yeah and uh thanks for having me and um like i said i hopefully get things going and uh and kind of the message you know just to we, we need to come together the common common guys need to stop fighting uh, for rubbish stuff you know and kind mm. of see the big picture that's to me is Exactly. That is, uh, but I'm I'm hopeful. I think I think it's it's gone so crazy with some things that people are really starting to realize. Wait a minute, this this is this is just insane. Come on, you know. So mm -hmm. hopefully this will be a rev revival. So 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 hopefully I can be a, a part of that uh, with with the album and the, and the videos. And we're exactly. we're planning on releasing four videos. You know, so it's that's the first one you've seen. Mm -hmm. It's kind of a theme, like for the four uh, four of them. I think people will enjoy it because it's uh, it will be it will go really crazy in this video. So <laughs> okay, cool, yeah, a lot I mean, of fun. Please, please always hit me up. Um, you know, I, yeah, I yeah, like I sure. said, I have my playlist, I have my radio show, and and I can do my little part to to get it out there. Um, yeah, you know. no, but that's really nice. I appreciate it a lot. So okay, bye. Great, bye bye. <laughs>